Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. I'm going to start off the usual, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side to ensure I have great mobility before I jump into my exercises. Yes, if you prefer to, you can add a couple more dynamic stretching as you prefer. But this is a compound movement. It helps you go through the range, entire range of motion for all, almost all your body joints. If you prefer, you can also go for cardio 2 to 5 minutes, something which I don't regularly do. So if you have the preference to get your heartbeat up before starting off the exercise, absolutely your choice. I usually am fine with the dynamic stretching and the warm up bit. But make sure you do the dynamic stretching. 2 to 5 minutes of dynamic stretching is nothing and it does a lot of benefit in your entire workout. Post completing the greatest stretch, as usual, we move on to our deep squat wherein we push our glutes as far behind as possible feeling the stretch in our hamstrings and once they are completely stretched out we slowly start bending our knees and sitting down in a deep squat while not losing the footing or the plantedness of our foot on the ground we want our foot to be absolutely planted we don't want our heels rising up or our toes raising up if they do that means there's some kind of tightness or restriction which you may not may need to you know massage it out or stretch out going forward but otherwise sit there for a few seconds and then we are good to go today i decided to start off with a little bit of core work because oftentimes in between the workout or post workout i get lazy and tend to skip core work so for some reason the bosu ball was there so i decided to do a bosu ball plank it helps me because not a usual regular plank puts a lot of pressure on my shoulders i'm not very comfortable elbows start hurting bosu ball biggest advantage soft cushioning second biggest advantage absolute killer because it demands a lot more than a regular plank you have to constantly stabilize yourself so one minute feels a lot try it out of course with safe measures if you're unable to control it switch back to a regular plank now to start off with i'm going to start with a warm-up set for my squats now you may do two or three warm-up sets that's absolutely up to you for me one set feels fine so i'm going to stick with that and after that, I have done four working sets of squats. My focus here is depth. I am targeting to learn squatting deep with as much weight as possible with absolute control. So that's a lot of criteria which I have put a target on. So I usually squat just parallel length and I'm fine there. But this time I want to learn to squat deep, control the weight and control the ascent also. So here in my first set, you can see the weight is not much. 20 kilo plates on each side, squatting to the absolute depth I can achieve with the weight on my back, staying there for absolutely a fraction of a second and then jumping back up. Now there is a little bit of forward swing which I have noticed but I'm not really worried about the weight is not much and it did not really hurt me anywhere. It's just that my legs were at a disadvantage from that lowest point. So while getting up, a little bit of forward swing. But otherwise the bar path was also good so i suggest you practice it ask someone to watch you from the side if there is a butt wink avoid going deep practice it with low weight as much as possible now here i wanted to emphasize that i am using weightlifting shoes i had them for a long time haven't used them because i really did not did not feel the necessity to but since the time i have tried to squat deep i felt maybe these can help me if you don't have these, you can obviously use a couple of plates under your heels and that would give you a little bit more ankle mobility. But as you go heavier, your heels start hurting because the plates are hard. Weightlifting shoes are comfortable, so you can use them to get a little bit of more ankle mobility. If you do have deep squat ability already, you don't need them. It's just for me to just get that a little bit more comfort out of my deeper squat. If I'm doing parallel length, parallel height squat, I would not be wearing the weightlifting shoes. I still have a little bit of forward swing, slight butt wing, which is acceptable at that level of depth. But that's the reason why I've take a, taken a wider stance. So I've done four sets, 10 repetitions, each set, deep squats. For the next exercise bit, I moved on to a superset, starting with hamstring curls, 20 repetitions, and switching to leg extension, 20 repetitions. Now here again, two. You want to control the weight up. So as you stretch the muscle out, you want to control it, take it as slow as possible. 
while you press down you want to press it with all the force while doing hamstring curls as usual i like to keep my toes touching get that outer hamstring working a lot more once done with these i quickly switch on to quad extensions make sure you get, try to achieve those 20 controlled repetitions because that matters a lot we are trying to accumulate as much volume as possible in shortest period of time for leg extensions again put it on the deepest level possible so that your knees go all the way back you get that great stretch on your quads happening and from there control manner kick up control manner descent let the weight come down feel the stretch again 20 repetitions are vital for you to get that volume three sets super sets hamstrings leg extensions hamstrings leg extensions you can take a two minute break in between and that's it we are done with our exercising my legs were fried they were completely full of blood i was really happy with the result so i finished off with stretching static stretching for starting off with my quads on a bar stretching them holding them for 15 to 20 seconds getting the muscle back to its neutral length after all those contractions not really yes your muscle obviously gets back to its neutral length uh, it's just me saying trying to exaggerate the effect of a static stretch but it's important so that you know you stretch the muscle out after finishing off kind of a cool down after completing my quad stretches we do the hamstring stretch again just keep your feet on the bar you need not do something extraordinary a simple stretch pull yourself towards your knee but this is basically causing your glutes to be pulled back creating a stretch on your hamstrings you can also pull the toes towards your shin your uh, foot toes so that would create a little bit more stretch on your calf muscles also thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it's been great doing this work along videos and i hope you like the workout trust me it is short but it's effective if you do the right amount of volume and the way i have done it see you in the next video thank you for watching